On paper, the brand new 911 Carrera S is the best ever. More power, more speed, yet somehow more economical as well. But that's only on paper. In the metal, it looks exactly the same. So the producers have challenged me to show you precisely how good it is. Now, I'm always going on about what great all-rounders 911s are. So they've decided to call my bluff. Not only do they want me to achieve 150 miles an hour, which shouldn't be any problem, they also want me to try to achieve the manufacturer's claim of 27.7 miles to the gallon, which will probably be a bit hard. And they want me to do all this in one day. Let's start with the boring bit. We're heading from our Birmingham office to our test track some 75 miles away, which will involve city, motorway and A roads. That will give us a fair average figure of what this completely new direct injection engine can do. There's supposed to be some new features on the inside of this car, but there's not much to be seen. Apart, of course, from the larger sat-nav screen with more hard disk memory capacity. Oh, and you can have blue teeth now, and apparently somewhere there's somewhere to put your eye thing in. I've been doing it 70 miles an hour in seventh gear for about half an hour now. We're just coming up to our motorway exit point, and the fuel consumption reads an amazing 33.4 miles to the gallon. This 70 grand car with its 385 horsepower doesn't sound like the sort of thing that should be economical. But as I arrived at our test track, I hadn't just matched the claimed 27 miles to the gallon, I'd blown it away by achieving 31.2. Now that's an incredible result for a high performance 3.8 litre engine. <laughs> I've achieved challenge number one, the boring bit. Now, can I do 150 miles an hour within this one mile straight? The car has a top speed of 186 miles an hour, but I have no idea if on a damp day just a single mile is long enough to get up to 150 and stop again. At least I have the very latest twin clutch PDK gearbox to help me on my way. It snaps for second to third. 7,000 revs, my foot's flat to the boards. And you don't feel the gear change. That's why it's faster than a 62 than any manual shift can ever be. We're approaching the half mile mark. And I've already gone over 150. It just sticks in the sixth gear. Oh, I'm going to start breaking. 158 miles an hour as we run out of road. It was an amazing result, but if you're worried about my high-speed carbon footprints, then consider this. Even after that 158 mile an hour run, the car's MPG was still above the manufacturer's claimed figure. I think that proves beyond doubt that this truly is the greatest all-rounder 